tough opponent. Um, shown a lot of consistency. Uh, two fight win streak, just like me. Uh, BJJ guy who's gotten pretty uh, pretty well rounded. It looks, uh, looks pretty even when you look at it on paper. Um, I think the determining factor will be striking and wrestling in this fight. It's, uh, it's a tough opponent, like I said, but uh, I've been training really hard. Uh, I got a lot of soft palms that I can work with. Uh, I'm confident, confident going into this fight and uh, look forward to the test. I can't stay away from my base, right? That's been my strongest area for the years, but you know, all fights start standing, so you can't neglect uh, the other areas. So I'm trying to get as well rounded as I can. And, Trying to make my weaknesses my strengths, um, but uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a tough test. Uh, I've been working really hard and uh, looking forward to uh, to show a few improvements in every area in this, uh, this fight. I don't really think about it, you know. My last fight was on the main card, and I got a win. Now I'm on the undercard, so um, I, I really, I really don't know. I really have no idea where the UFC puts me or where I stand. Um, but the only thing that matters right now is getting a, getting a win here. Dasanya is a tough opponent, so um, I would think inside the top ten. But uh, you never really know. It's you know good as your last fight, and uh, people have to want to see your fight. And so we'll see. I'm just worried about getting a win here. Does that bother you sometimes that you've been on main card before and then you know you're in the prelims? Is that, or do you just take it as you know any other fight or any other position on the card, basically? It can be a little frustrating sometimes. It's harder to get the better sponsors when, uh, when you're not on the main card. In this case, it's an FX, so a lot of people will see it. A lot, not everyone pays for an event, so a lot of people will see it. So it's good in a way, and it's also a good thing that uh, main card or not, your purses don't change. Um, but you know, there might be some su subjection to who gets uh, maybe KO of the night, fight of the night, or sub of the night. But. Uh, you know, either way, this particular time my night will be over early, so uh, I'll grab a popcorn for the main event. You know? I like Montreal a lot. I, I do most of my camps here now. Um, last time I fought in Montreal, I had a good uh, had a good win over Dustin Hazlett. Um, hope they can all go like that. You know, I, I'd love to finish this fight in the first round. Uh, I'd love to get a knockout. You know, uh, I've never knocked anyone out before. In MMA. I know this is a tough test, but I'd love to finish it early, but I need to be, uh, he's a tough customer, so I need to be ready for three rounds, which I am. What really impresses me is the fact that you're 11 and 4, you've been fighting professionally since 2004, and you're only 31 years old, which is kind of crazy. I mean, to think that, you know, it's almost, this is working on almost 10 years that you've been you know, here professionally, apart from, you know, like you mentioned before, about how the title and you don't think that, what really motivates you and motivates your career going forward? Getting better. Um, you know, when I train, when I come here to TriStar, when I get uh, when I get new information for, from Farasa Abhi, and uh, I start improving and I start uh, getting better, that, that motivates me, that makes me happy. The rest of the stuff that just, I don't look too far ahead, it's, I just, anything can happen in the sport, I just look at it one at a time, but uh, uh, getting better motivates me.